This section heading is called Running the PHP Code. So what we're going to do within this section is we're going to run some code that we're later going to add to our site. This code is going to make the site susceptible to command injection. So now once again, by running the code, we're going to better understand how it works and also better understand the vulnerability within it. Now inside of the lab, I'm telling you to essentially type all of this into a file, but I've already done so inside of a text editor to save some time. So here we can see that code. So on lines two and three, we're defining a couple of variables, and then on line four, I added this echo statement over here so that we can actually see what it is this code up here is actually doing. So on line two, we're seeing this PWD, and then we're concatenating on this get function over here. So PWD is an old Unix command, and it stands for print working directory. Now what that does is it provides the absolute path. So that is the path from your current position to root. So we're storing this inside of a variable called path, and then we're passing this as an argument to the exec function on the next line. So your exec function can be used to execute system commands like PWD. So by essentially executing this or running this as an argument to the exec function, we're going to store that path inside of a variable called path. And then once again, we're using this echo statement so that we can actually display that path onto the web page. So now I'm just going to copy all this out. So I'll do a control C and now we're going to run the code. Now the way that we're going to run it is we're going to place it inside of a file inside of the web services directory and then we'll navigate to it from a browser. So first let me close this out because I was previously in here and then let's create that file. So I'm going to do a sudo nano and then the path to our web services directory and then the file name that we're going to create or put this in is going to be called path.php. So now I'm just going to right click to paste this in and then I'm going to save and exit. Control X, Y to save, press enter and now we're going to run the code. So I'm going to navigate to yourbank.com slash path.php. So yourbank.com and then down here you can see I've already typed this out and tested it. So we've got path.php. So you can see over here we're displaying the absolute path from our current position where we're actually executing this script and that is our web services directory. So that's what this code's purpose is.